Um, I've been pretty vocal about that because when I hear that, it, it definitely pisses me off, you know, because I'm friends with all these guys out here that have been in bands since junior high and have seen some form of success, as small as it might be in our local scene, you know. And I've seen a lot of people just, you know, bust their ass to improve and improve and throw bands together until they find the right mix and, and do something that makes it all worthwhile, you know. And there's plenty of them around here and there's so many other times that we go to shows and there's like people that you've never heard of and you just walk into a local fucking bar and there's like this band that floors you and you, you make friends with them on Facebook and start hitting them up we need to have shows together and shit you know there's a lot of really cool genuine talent around here um, and people with their heads on straight you know they just enjoy playing music for playing music they're not in it for the wrong reasons. Honestly, appreciate how the people that are in it for the wrong reasons don't last long in the scene. That's why I think our scene is strong. It's because the people that keep going out there and busting their ass, playing music, practicing, improving, and just year after year, you know, if the band doesn't last, come back with another band of other people that have been doing the same thing until the bands just keep getting better and better, you know? And uh, we're reaching this point where there is a lot of good talent in this area. And then it's mostly people that do nothing for it. It's mostly people that go out and try and leech off of it and try and capitalize off of it and make money off of it. Those are always the people that you hear bitching about the scene. But they bitch so loud and they bitch so vocally and they infiltrate the scene of genuine people so, so efficiently that when they start bitching, other people start thinking, oh, there's something wrong with the scene. It's always somebody that's leeching off the system that starts bitching because they start doing bad, and they think that it's a sign of the scene, but it's not. It's a sign of them not being genuine, and our scene, if you want to call it that, rejecting them, you know? And so they start bitching, and then people start hearing, fans start hearing that don't understand it or don't see it on the same level that I see it, you know? They start bitching, and it starts spreading, and you hear a lot of other people just trying to please who they look up to in the scene and just bitching about the scene. So that's why anytime I hear it, you know, I would like to think that people respect what we do. I've been doing this for a long time, and I don't think I've ever done anybody wrong you know I've always just showed up and put on the best show that I can do so I think people respect my opinion and anytime I see, hear people bitching about the scene I make a point to step up and combat it you know because there's been great things and, and the people that bitch about the scene it discredits every good thing that any hardworking fucking musician has ever done in this place it just discredits it because they're not happy with where they're at but their heart's in the wrong place, their their mind's in the wrong place, and they're going to eventually fail. But to try and bring the scene down because you fail, it, it pisses me off. And that's that's all I think about when I hear someone bitching passionately about how the scene in Houston sucks. They're telling everyone outside of Houston that the scene sucks here. They're telling all the fans that show up to shows that the scene sucks here. They're telling everybody, they're pushing it out there like fucking satellites that the scene sucks. And that's that's what's going to hurt the scene. You leave it up to the musicians that just show up and have a good time. You leave it up to the front row Joes that show up consistently at shows and have a good time. Never had a bad word to say about the scene because they didn't show up to a scene. They showed up to see a band of people that were respect and they like their music. And that's the scene to me, you know. And there's a lot of that around here. And if you're going to talk shit about that, then, you know, I am going to take a stand there and I'm going to say something about it. People think about a scene and they think about... Like, oh, Seattle, and then whatever. They think about a scene, and think like fucking hair metals in the 80s, whatever. They think about a moment in time, and if this isn't living up to that, then we don't have a scene. It's fucking bullshit. There's all sorts of phases to a scene, but it's like fucking this bush trying to grow, and they keep fucking trimming it back and then bitching that this is gonna stay a small bush, you know? It's like, keep your fucking cutting fucking conniving shit away from it give it room to fucking grow and let it be fucking genuine and sincere you know let's stick with nature and maybe we'll have a fucking scene but instead we have all these people running around with fucking hedge clippers and I have no problem fucking shooing those people away they're disingenuine they don't even understand the fucking scene that they're uh, raising the banner for or calling arms against and most of them haven't even I've never heard of them for ever I've never heard their name and then all of a sudden one month they've been like they moved here and they've been helping a band out or they put on one show and promoted a show and all of a sudden they're talking about their brothers in this band and they're talking about this scene 
and what we need to do for this scene. And I call them on their bullshit because it's like you don't know anything about the scene. You've been here for a month and you're trying to attach your name to something that you see greatness in. And as soon as that name that you're trying to attach yourself to to make yourself sound better rejects you because you're insincere and you're disingenuine, then that's when you want to go start cutting shit down. And for anyone that doesn't know it, those can be convincing words. And, and that, that makes me mad because as somebody who has always pursued music and always worked to improve and always just been active doing something because we have a passion for it and then being in a band with four other guys that I've known since kids doing the same exact thing other bands I've grown up with that have just always had music and uh, then someone moves here for a month and tries to cut down all the effort they've put into it it's offensive and that's my view on anyone that says anything bad about the scene, they're probably not contributing to it, so their opinion doesn't matter.